was a record-breaking moment. After shedding an astonishing 239 pounds, Danny Cahill became the contestant to lose the most weight ever during NBC's reality show, The Biggest Loser. Danny lost 239 pounds. He went home with a quarter million dollars that night, literally half the man he used to be. Danny, your starting weight is 430 pounds. But it was what came after the after photos that proved the biggest shot to Danny and many of the other contestants. I didn't want anybody to know I was on The Biggest Loser because obviously I don't, I don't look like that anymore. That's because little did they know what had dropped along with their weight was their metabolism. It's disheartening to know that you can't eat like a normal person. But what would turn out to be a setback for the majority of the contestants. I've put back 104 pounds would prove to be a breakthrough to understanding why so many dieters struggle to keep off the weight they lose. In a new NIH study that has everybody talking, scientists followed 14 of the 16 contestants from season eight of The Biggest Loser, monitoring them for six years after the show. They found that all but one had gained some of the weight back. Four of them even reported being heavier now than at the beginning of the show. When you attempt to change your body weight, um, your biology will fight back. Dr. Kevin Hall is the lead scientist behind the study. He says that while the contestants all had a normal metabolism for their size at the start of filming, years after, their metabolism began to slow down, a mechanism he says the body uses to return to its original weight. So after you lose weight, your body's uh, metabolic rate will slow down. In other words, the number of calories that your body requires in order to maintain life is going to decrease. That's going to make it difficult for you to, to keep the weight off. I've had people look at me and tell me I ought to be ashamed of myself because you, ought, you need to just get your butt up and walk around the block a few times. Well, it's not that easy. The winner of that season, Cahill felt he also had the most to lose. 430 pounds before the show, 191 pounds right after. And since then, he's gained back more than 100 pounds. But was this sustainable, the weight loss that you had? It's not at all. I, when I went to the ranch, I was there for 90 days, and, and I worked out. So I quit my job. That's why I won the show, and that's why I did what I did, because I made it my job. But we're finding out that in order for us to keep our calorie burn at, a, at, a, at, a, at the same rate of a normal person, that we're having to work out two hours a day. He says his metabolism dropped to such a low point, in order to maintain his current 295 pounds, he has to eat 800 calories less than a typical man his size. I started eating like a normal man would to be even, and I wasn't staying even, and that was what was disheartening. And I've, I heard this from all the other Biggest Loser contestants. It's extremely difficult to keep weight off because your body doesn't want to do it. And on top of that, your desire to eat increases. So it is the perfect storm for weight regain. Which might explain why the study found plummeting levels of leptin among the contestants, a hormone thought to control hunger, without which many of the contestants often felt hungry. But Danny says for him and many other contestants, it's helped relieve some of the crushing shame that came along with the weight gain. I've heard from obese people all over Facebook and, and Twitter. Everybody's messaging me going, I, I knew this was going on. This makes me feel better about where I am. Not an excuse, but but at least some of that shame can be lifted and now we can say where do we go from here. It's great that the world knows that Biggest Loser contestants who are so quickly judged um, that we aren't just lazy and that we didn't waste an opportunity and we're not just gaining weight back. Over the course of the season, she lost 87 pounds. Since the show wrapped seven years ago, she's now gained back 12 of those pounds, giving hope to many that weight loss can sometimes be maintained. In order just to maintain my weight, I have to eat less than 1,400 calories a day. What is 1,400 calories a day? I mean, it's, it's almost nothing. I'm not full off 1,400 calories, and I find myself in a constant, well, maybe I shouldn't eat right now. And it is almost like an eating disorder in a way because it's like I have to restrict everything I do. Like Danny, she breathed a sigh of relief when this most recent study was released. Finally, an explanation for questions she's long had about her struggle, but she's concerned about the long-term ramifications. Now that I know that I'm burning 600 calories less per day than I was six years ago, what does the future hold for me? Um, I almost feel like my body is, is it's like I, my destiny is, am I going to gain all the weight back? Is my destiny going to be as an overweight woman because my body is fighting me?